Hello again, and uh, uh, we had to reconnect, so now we're starting a new live. Um, welcome everyone. Um, I'm Nadia Freund, founder of Nadia BGNL Academy. I never introduced myself. I think it's the time to do it again. And I'm waiting for Natalia, a magnetic international trainer from Ukraine. And we will show today the sculpting gels, because last week we were talking about all magnetic gels, and we figured that we never showed sculpting gels, and we will do it today. And I'm waiting for Natalia to join again. So we have sculpting gels in four shades. Um, it is a nail pad extender, it is a white, it is super white, and um, uh, cover, cover, camouflage. Um, I don't know, warm, I think, camouflage warm and camouflage cold, I'm not sure, we'll ask Natalia again, because I haven't got those colors, because sculpting gels were not very popular here so far, and we decided to show them, that's why, so we'll see you when Natalia is joining, please let me know if you can hear and see me well, so... Okay, waiting for Natalia. Hi Magda, can you hear and see me well? Because we had some uh, connection problems and I had also feeling that my connection wasn't very well. All good, perfect. So waiting for Natalia, here is she, Natalia. Natalia is coming, perfect. Natalia, now it's a black screen. I'm almost here. Oh, here you are. I'm almost here. Hi. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. That, that was my problem because I was okay. connected to different source. So that's why I just checked and it was okay. <laughs> then I had to recon reconnect. Okay. Hi. Hi. Let's make French. Let's make French. Sculpting. French. I just got uh, confused. We have um, sculpting, uh, nail pad extender, white, super white. And what about the camouflages? We have uh, about sculpting nail plate extender. We have like normal sculpting nail plate extender. Yes. And we also have two other shades. Unfortunately, I don't have them, but uh, they are like they have the same consistency. They just have a different, uh, yeah, like shade. Shades. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So that's what I was confused about because I forgot the colors. Yes. So. Perfect. Mm -hmm. But those, all of those I have in stock besides the two different shades and if somebody wants them, I will get them. Hello, Magda. Hello, ladies. Hello. Okay, so let's start and let's do something from the simple to the most complicated. I'm sure that people don't like French and I understand why. I also hated this. But with practicing and with good material, actually, uh, you you can achieve uh, the result much quicker. Yeah, thank you, Magda. We have warm and cool nail plate extender. Yes, it depends on the skin tone. Then you can use it differently. So then I will go to the screen and I will start doing this straight away. I will work on clear tips. So then you will see the result much better. Perfect. So yeah, let's now you will see my ceiling. Sorry for that. And now okay. you see my map, my background. It's so beautiful. It looks like silk. Yes, but it's vanilla. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. So uh, I will try to... No, I cannot increase it. So then I just will keep it like it is. Okay, you see that we have absolutely clear teeth. Mm -hmm. And we have nail pad extender. I, yeah, I just made it like this. So you see that it's quite hard product and uh, the name of the product and we have it in 13 gram jar i still have this um, uh, aluminium foil but uh, normally if you are working at your studio it's better just to remove it so then you will not have this uh, like um, little 
black particles inside of your gel. So it's better to always remove it. But if you are traveling, then obviously that it's better to keep it, otherwise your gel will run. And uh, you see that this gel is not runny because it's just staying how it is. First I want to make, I want to show to you the workability of this gel. So I just, uh, for this gel, we will need any clear base, absolutely any, and you can use like even like base and top or any clear base that you have. We need adhesive layer for that. And that's a rule. So I just will use any, I will use base and top. Why we need a base? Because this gel, you see that it has color inside. If it has color inside, it means that it has pigment inside. When we have a pigment, it means that we have less adhesive properties. And for that, we have to put any base layer. Base and top also would be good for that. Mm -hmm. I will cure it for 10 seconds. I would never think of putting base on top under the sculpting gel, but it's a learn something new again. Uh, it's still base oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's very thin and we can use it. Why not? <laughs> so now I have like cured product. I think it was not enough. Just a second. I have to put it for a bit longer. Uh, what I want to do now, I want uh, like make a bed for my product. What I mean when I'm saying this, I just have to check my brush. What I mean when I'm saying this, that that I will start applying my product, but first I have to make, let's say, bed. Very thin layer. Then my product will start moving better. Then I will take, in, uh, I will take just a bit of the product and you see that actually it looks like uh, melted butter. Mm -hmm. I will remove it, otherwise my camera will start focusing on this. When I'm applying this, I have to apply it and then I have to wake it up. Just move your gel, wake it up. That's how we have to work with this gel. And you see that how I'm working, I'm just placing my brush on the top of the gel. Mm -hmm. I'm not touching and you see that it's already moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not touching actually the, uh, the bottom of my tip. And now I will go, I keep my finger down and I'm just like pressing slightly to the cuticle. And because I woke up already my gel, you see that it's much easy now to place it on the top or on the top of your nail. So this nail I just will make uh, in the full coverage because I want to show to you something. I have some mm -hmm. nail on my uh, Facebook page and people were asking how it was done. So yeah, on camera it's not completely easy to do it. That's Paula amazing. said, and it's not your eyes because I put my glasses on. It's a little blurry. I um, I don't see where it's blurry. It's just uh, sometimes it doesn't really focus, but it's it's usually it's normal. It's okay once it's in the stable position. Magda, do you see it blurry or do you see it? Because I uh, it's not now it's blurry. Yeah. Sometimes it's blurry. Sometimes it's okay. I just it's focusing don't... on the glove instead of the tip. That's why. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, then I will do it that way. <laughs> yeah, I think it's focusing on the thumb, not on, on the middle thing, it's more on the thumb. That's... Uh, if I will remove my fingers, so then uh, <laughs> it, will, it will focus on the highlights. Mm -hmm. Then I have to take my favorite brush mm -hmm. and I can guide my gel. 
So this gel is still movable with your yes. magic, magic brush. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Now it's not focusing at all. My God. No, it's focusing yeah. on the thumb, like on on your. Uh, th- that's not not on your uh, pinky, but on your thumb. So you can leave the, those nails, but just probably. <laughs> God, how to find? You know, I, I especially bought these white gloves so then I will have less distraction from the tip from the work I'm making so you see that with this beautiful nail art brush Mm -hmm. we can sculpt the nail yeah this is a sculpting brush gotcha (laughs) (laughs) so yeah, le- le- let's use our nail art brushes to sculpt the nail. Well, technically, uh, they say once you know how to make a nail, you can, uh, using a gel, you can even use just a wooden stick. Uh, but not with this gel, you need to work it first, like, with, yes. uh, before you create it. So, yeah. And it's hard, okay. hard to move. Like, this is the I'm more or less, thing. let's say, happy. Mm-hmm. Then what I will do, I will cure it. And the time of curing for this gel is very interesting, by the way. Mm-hmm. But uh, I will tell you some tricks when I will start making Frenchies. Because okay. for now, I just will cure it for full time of curing. And this is one and a half minute. Then I will buff it. And then I will apply on top of this, this amazing magic pigment Mm -hmm. this one Mm. so it's uh, I would say that for salon work it's very good product I mean sculpting nail plate expander Mm -hmm. this is some acetone looks like this This yes so it's in the jar doesn't move anywhere unless you're traveling (laughs) And also a uh, jar is not leaking, so everything's staying inside. But you need time to wake up your gel, like, hello, let's do something. <laughs> yeah, and but the this... gel will say, yeah, why not? Let's do something. <laughs> yeah, but the sculpting thing itself is, uh, is a regular, it's a thicker gel, but it's more regular gel. So it kind of gets to the bottom of the jar uh, and not staying on the sides. I have to change my lamp. Me too. My lamp is, <laughs> is not good at all because I see how I checked that I touched the side and I see that it's not completely cured. But luckily, I have this beautiful torch so mm-hmm. I can fix it. <laughs> I can fix it, no problem. I definitely have to. Yeah, I'm working for, with this. Uh, by the way, I'm not working so much with client. Uh, I just make nails like uh, for for model. And uh, I have this lamp already. I would say for yeah, maybe for two years. And it's already is not working properly, and it means that I have to get a new one. Is it the uh, old Ecolite? Hmm? Is it the old Ecolite? No, I had twin light. Twin light. I have mm. my twin light. Twin lights working forever, but my old Ecolite, it's probably like f- four years old. It's already. Yeah. Uh, needs st- replacement. I will file it with buffer. You see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because this product really very easy. It's not even like a filing, mainly like, I even, I even can buff it with 340 grit. Oops. My brushes fall down. <laughs> I really love to finish any of my filing with this 340. Whatever I do for top gel or for gel polish, because then I can guarantee that I will have the most beautiful highlights ever. Mm-hmm. 
So you see how easy to file this gel. I can I can file it even with buffer. Mm -hmm. Well, also since we're using those non-filing techniques and applying the gel just perfectly, we don't even need to file much. And yesterday I yeah. filed my nails within just like on the on the left hand, just within I don't know three four minutes um, on myself, like all the whole filing probably even faster no three four minutes probably both hands because the once you know how to apply gel properly you don't need any much of filing just a little bit of shaping yeah, around just, the cuticle that's yeah it. it's like a shaping so i just want to remove, just just a bit make it thinner here and you see that it's buffer but mm -hmm. still it's making its job perfectly I would call this buffer like Photoshop, real mm -hmm. Photoshop for our nails. Mm -hmm. Look at this beauty. Yeah, just, just slightly, slightly a bit. Yeah, I'm perfectionist, but I'm not crazy perfectionist. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let's say I'm happy. Almost. <laughs> just a bit <laughs> and almost happy <laughs> okay so I just have my cords everywhere so you see gel that you can file with buffer mm -hmm. it's a dream <laughs> it's just a dream okay so when it's done then I want to use magic pigment and for that I can use um, I can use I can use uh, wait 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 yeah it's always like this okay I even can use this one so uh, with Yulia Goncharova we have been discussing actually which top gel is okay not to keep the pigment especially if you want to use pigment inside and uh, in our own opinion any top gel with no sticky residue will be good for pigment and if you don't want to keep a pigment then you have to use matte top coat and it so, still gets right? off the mat yes to mat top coat it's not climbing to the top but then you will have to remove the sticky residue mm -hmm. yeah, just a bit and then wait I have to clean here because it's dusty and we don't so want excited to, to see what's the result Huh? So excited to see the result. Uh, I did it once and honestly to say I really liked it. Yes. It's a gel with mirror effect. And we can use like normal sponge. Ah, sorry, pigment. Mm -hmm. We can use normal sponge or we can use this silicone sponge a silicone brush shaper so this will take a bit so pretty so i like this one because then i can break pigment completely nice then it looks like pearl mm -hmm. okay, let's cure we need to cure it to glue it basically to the yes uh, to, top uh, so to, to the fixate top because it. Mm -hmm top normally uh, when we're doing this then we stop uh, we cannot cure our top for full time of curing we have to like uh, maybe like 10 seconds and then we can start rubbing in 
uh, the pigment. And then we have to cure everything together and then we'll have actually a hope, but not a hope, but uh, we will know that our pigment will not lift. Magda says <laughs> silicone tool is great for mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also this silicone tool uh, also is good like to make French with pigment. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Like you just can paint in a French shape. Mm -hmm. so, Magda, I have an idea for uh, one of our streams because Magda and I decided also to do some streams together. And, Beautiful. Um, and I have an idea what we can do. <laughs> Good. So then I just will remove the excess and I will use again Supreme Finish to seal it. If I want to keep it shiny, but if I want to keep it matte, then I can use my matte. Ooh, that's good. And you see that my brush is clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is like the most simplest way to use our sculpting nail plate extender. And just look your it quickly and then we'll send it to the UV light. Beautiful. Okay. And now French. Who loves French? <laughs> our <knows>. client. <laughs> yes, our client. I always remember how I ask my nail tech when I was a client to do uh, like to make French for me because she always did absolutely crazy design with all this shiny stuff, all this these things, you know, and it was okay, but still, you know, time to time you're getting bored with that. And then I asked her, like, maybe you can make French for me. And she said, oh, it's so boring. When I be started making nails myself, I understood why she said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not boring, but it's definitely not easy and needs practicing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say that even you still are not happy with your French, it does not mean that you have to stop practicing. You still have to continue practicing to get your good result. Mm -hmm. Well, I always say I can make one perfect French nail by teaching, right? But when clients are asking for that, I'm like, well, you know, I'm always like, I need to make 10 perfect French nails that are absolutely matching to each other right so they have to be like absolutely perfect and if something is not perfect i don't like it and I, if i'm not happy i don't let you go and, or i will let you go and will stay unhappy i'm like i'm not doing french forget about it <laughs> god okay then i will give you some tip you can use um stencils air nail stencils stencils i don't like then, painted french uh, <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I'm, you see I'm the... already thinking to fix my ear brush, so we'll, we'll get that one day. <laughs> okay. Same so story from people I know says Magda. Girls are telling uh, clients it is uh, outdated <laughs> because they can't do. <laughs> yeah, you see, we have our own tricks. <laughs> so okay, let's imagine that we have already our base. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, I will apply it because we cannot imagine. It's better just to do it. So if we have like nat uh, natural nail and we have extension, then I will apply only on the nail plate. I will apply my base. Mm -hmm. okay, that are my the stencils base. Natalia is talking about just showing. So it's an ear nails, deep French stencils. Mm -hmm. Then so. you can use them. And mm -hmm. you will be happy with this. I have them. <laughs> yeah, because I would say that uh, it's much easier to do this paint on French using these stencils. It's really mm -hmm. very quick. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's done. Let's take our product. And remember that we have to make a bed. 
-hmm. And I will make a bed already in the shape. So actually I just need a raw layer, thin layer of this gel. Then I will take, you see, it's not moving anywhere. Do -do -do. Oh, my headphones. Yes. So then I'm placing on the nail bed and I have to wake it up. Da -da 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 -da. So like, you know, it's like you are pushing somebody like, wake up, wake up, do something, <laughs> we have to work. And then on some moment, this gel will start reacting and it will say, yeah, let's do French. It will be easy. Because on a reaction, the uh, gel will react on the movement. And now it's actually time. When you see that it started to be like very warm, melted butter, then it's time to place it over the extension. Idea is that your brush has to work on the top of the product. And you see that it's not enough. Yeah, because it's stiletto. Mm -hmm. I will would be cry. enough for the normal nail though. For normal nail would be enough. Yeah, but mm -hmm. not for this one. So that's why we have to Unfortunately, I cannot focus, you know, usually if I'm tapping... Here, it's focusing now. No, it's focusing. It's focusing. Yes. So then I will place again. Make it too big. I'm not going to make it too big. Then I will place it. And again, I just will start waking my product up. So basically, when you have a bowl of gel and put your brush on, you don't want to squish it because then you, it's hard to collect this gel. So what you do, you take the bowl and just move a little bit with yes. the top like this. Yeah, just, just touching the mm -hmm. top of the product. And now I'm moving to create, just a moment, oh, mm -hmm. to create my smile line. There is also some couple of secrets how to do it. And of course, we are going to tell you about this. Secrets is that there is no secrets. Okay, it's not completely straight, but wait a minute. Oops. Because you see, it's so thick gel that it's it's running. <laughs> <laughs> but when you wake it up in proper way, so then it's nicely moving. And because I also prepared, let's say, a bed for this gel, so then it's moving much easier. So it's I'm not completely happy with this sideline. What I will do? Yeah, it's a problem under the camera always. Um, we don't, we cannot hold it right straight in front of us, so we have to hold it under the camera yeah. and then it's complicated. But still, it's possible. Of course. Yes, it's still possible. And then I will just slightly correct this one. Oops. Oops how it looks from this side. I'm not going to correct it straight away now. What I will do, I just maybe will go here because here I don't need so much product. It's also yeah. the tip that has a lot of curvature right in there. Mm -hmm. So for, for regular nail shape, it looks a little bit um, yeah, uh, too thick. Yeah, it's strange, yeah. exactly. So what I will do now, now I will cure how it is. So now you see it looks better. Mm -hmm. I will cure how it is because I have to add a bit more product, but first I have to, and now I will tell you some secret. 
we have to cure it when we are placing this step to UV lamp our client always will have will feel little heat once she feel a warmth she has to move out her hand and wait until all heat gone then she has to put her hand for extra five seconds in LED lamp or in normal lamp and only after this we can start curing uh, we can start sorry pinching mm -hmm. because if you will start pinching on the moment when it's hot then the bottom layer still did not connect to the meal and then you have a chance that everything will just lift so that's why wait for the first warmth go out of the lamp wait until warmth will disappear then go to the lamp one two three four five and then start pinching i learned that lesson <laughs> on practice <laughs> yeah yeah actually you will learn it uh in any way by experience or by uh, advice but you will learn it <laughs> exactly yes so and now what i will do just with my favorite brush i can use this brush i can use uh, any other brush so the idea is that i just have to help myself to fill up this little um uh, it's not a heel it's like when it's going down i have to keep it completely straight so basically we need to build a straight wall right yes. the gel is kind of like rounded up like this but we need mm -hmm. to build a wall so even yes. with a little bit of a uh, lip abo above so here's a little exactly. lip so that therefore natalia is applying a little um we call it sausage <laughs> yes we can call it sausage <laughs> or just uh yeah uh like a string of product why i first cured this so then my product is not moving anywhere and then I have a chance to create this wall. Mm -hmm. And just to be sure that everything is fine, I also like can fade blend. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Perfect. blend it. Yes, mm -hmm. to the meal. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> then it's done. And let's cure. Yeah, I will not pinch it now, but usually how uh, we understand that it's time to pinch, uh, when you feel a warmth, take out, wait until warmth will disappear, then put back for five seconds, uh, and then you can pinch it. Mm -hmm. I really love these uh, magnetic torches, they are very strong. I should get I should bring the batteries from upstairs downstairs and use mine yeah that's that's okay so then <clears throat> I will have to remove the sticky residue and you see that it's cured little battery little torch making beautiful thing mm -hmm. and then we will file the smile line because now I have it in uh, on stiletto tip, so obviously that my smile line will be in V shape. Always keep your file straight. Don't go inside. Mm -hmm. Inside you will go when you are filing here in the corner. Then you will go with 45 degrees inside. Another thing, and this is a huge problem for everybody, that if you want to have a perfect smile line, don't make long movements with your brush. Sh use short steps. That's fine. Magda then says you will it's have... beautiful already. No, it's not beautiful, but thank you. <laughs> uh, so, uh, idea is that if you are using these absolutely short steps, then your smile line will be perfect, sharp, and extremely beautiful only in smile corner go with 45 degrees in so uh, if you have a chance to apply for proper class with Nadia I highly would suggest you to do it because uh, still there are little things that yeah of course we will say about everything but perhaps you can forget and then 
uh, Nadia can control you and she can guide you. And if you are in the UK, you can go to Magda. <laughs> yes, and if you are in the UK, go to Magda. Magda is super pooper expert French. Mm. You see how I said it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Magda is sending us a heart. Thank you, Magda. <laughs> Can't wait to get all three of you together, all three of us together, and the thing up again. Oh um. yeah, I really wish it. Uh, so and now uh, it's always important to file it from the top. That's the rule. Without any discussion, file from the top always. Then you will have perfect sharp corners. Yes, between if you the want to have and the top. Perfect sharp. You see that it's not cured completely inside, but I can fix it. Yeah, we are trying to speed up because of the life yeah, and time. we need to get into yeah. an hour. Yeah. And I have to say, as I already said before, remember, uh, like you, you, as you're filing, um, I, uh, I've got some, uh, somebody gave me some uh, uh, Chinese stickers for those files that you have. And those stickers are so round on the side, like on, on, on the top here and here that you yeah. cannot file with them the smile line they just don't get in that corner it just doesn't work yeah no magnetic so ones checking. are sharp enough to do that mm -hmm. i would say that magnetic ones they are the most beautiful ones and uh, they are absolutely good to work with but please use one sticker per one client mm -hmm. so and also what you can do like you can file because of this strong edge you also can file a bit if you have a bit more product here on the surface to make our wall sharp so we have one sharp corner between the top and the smile line and then we yeah. have another one between smile line and the base you know what is the most beautiful in french small corners if they are sharp they are the most beautiful yeah. ones and they have to go completely like to the zero point that's extremely important if you even have smart nice smile line from the top and then you are turning your finger and then you see that your uh, smile corner is uh, not completely sharp then you are losing the total impression mm -hmm. okay now let's apply Uh, our white. Nadia, can you tell me what time is this now? How much time we still have? Uh, we have 20 minutes. Oh, good. Okay. Then uh, you see that we can use, it's like sculpting white. It's quite white gel. But sometimes if you want it white, 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 crazy white, then you can make a little trick, but be careful with that trick. So uh, usually this white, I, um, should I show this trick with uh, liner white gel? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> yeah, let's do it then. Then if you want to have it like white, 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 because the problem is is very it does not like the uh, curing process in uv light so because then our uv light actually will not come through through the white pigment that's why you will never find extremely white gel except super white but this one will be our next one can you go a little bit more central please oh sorry 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 yeah mm -hmm. thank you just guide me otherwise yeah. this is just like normal and this one you can use for everything for nail art for paint on french for uh sculpting <laughs> sculpted french <laughs> absolutely universal product and you see how highly pigmented this gel is and again, little secret, don't use now gel as a gel. 
I'm using liner gel now mainly as a pigment. It's a very, very thin layer. Very, very thin layer, exactly. Yeah. I will cure it. <sighs> and when it's done, You see that this gel is extremely not movable. Mm -hmm. So it means that this gel will also have to wake up. And uh, when I was working with clients, what I did before, for instance, if I want to take my product from here, I already was making this movement here in the mm. jar. Interesting. So then, when uh, my uh, tip is ready, then uh, actually I will not waste my time and I already have prepared product. That's cool. And what is good about this product that it doesn't have these air bubbles. It's really extremely thick. And now my idea is that I just have to place it because I already woke it up. It's already moving and I just have to place it just with one bead and I will have white, white French. So it is much whiter than you if you would just do it itself. Yes. Because you have white on the leg. Mm -hmm. Yes. Totally because we have this white underneath so then we will have like uh, it will be completely white white and it will it, it will have uh, like this white looking product as mm -hmm. i said that it's almost not possible to make completely white sculpting gel because then we will have a problem with curing well, we have that super white uh, and many people yes. in the salon struggle with it because they're working fast and mm -hmm. don't leave the full time curing in one time on a nail. idea is with, uh, with that gel, we have to cure it even with one layer very carefully for full time of curing. Yeah, that's why you need to make five nails. And but if you make five nails a little bit longer, then they will start running. Yeah, you can't wait to like one or two nails for one and a half minutes. Um, like you know, it, it takes a long time in a salon, but this is what you are doing is great because uh, it is a very good curing product. The liner gel is a very good uh, curing product, and if you would go a little bit more central, let's we'll see what you're doing. Yeah, can you go central? So, thank you. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I will go to the lamp now. Mm -hmm. because I took already a bit more product from the jar where I already woke it up then it's much easier but what is good about this it's not moving mm -hmm. I just think where it is why I pull it a bit on the top it looks a bit messy but then it also makes sense because if I will file it uh, and when I will file it you will see completely sharp smiling because if you have French and apply a gel like this gel any gel shrinks a little bit in the light or tend, tends yep. to shrink a little bit and also we have some pigment here so to make sure they are touching perfectly on top of it we cover a little bit the French over the the nail plate and then when mm -hmm. we will file it we will have that perfect sharp line of the white and then mm -hmm. also the white will not be like you know how sometimes you get that little gap mm -hmm. yeah yeah, and uh, because uh, we already filed uh, the nail elongation from the top, so it will be much easier for us actually to um, uh, to put them all together. Oh, God, just a second, my holder is moving, <laughs> <laughs> moving everywhere. Okay, so then I also would like to show to you this sculpting white. So while it's curing there. Paula mm -hmm. said a good tip with the overlap. I wasn't taught that in my training. 
well we can train teach you all kind of tricks <laughs> right? yes <laughs> just join us <laughs> <laughs> well i think paula took one of my classes right marathon or class i don't remember yeah here i also i will not do this uh, everything i just will start So you see, once you are moving, it started self-leveling and then it will be much easier for you to place it. It's a beautiful gel, by the way. It's really like a melted butter. Yeah, I should try to do some overlays with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are not central again. Oh, sorry. So then I just will take a bit more product. And what I also can do, I also can mix it in the jar as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then already I will have gel that woke up. Mm -hmm. I never thought of that. Yes. I just, you know, uh, when I did it, I was thinking, hey, I was, when I was working with clients, I did it in the jar. <laughs> And then it's already here and you see that just just boom 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 and french is done and yeah. because this this yeah. gel is not moving so then you have no chance to put yeah i, I would say you have no chance to put uh, air bubbles but i know that some nail techs they are extremely talented <laughs> <laughs> i know this for sure Okay, you see? <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Just so easy. Yes. So, and you see that I just mixed it in the jar. Mm -hmm. That's great. I will cure this one. And when it's cured, I just will file just a bit. This one, uh, I will use a bit uh, rougher file, so then I will work quicker because we don't have much time no we have 10 minutes 10 minutes you see so and the time then goes you see you have fun yes when we are filing near the smile line then you see how uh, the that that remains that actually we did not need it just disappearing and then we have absolutely sharp smile line Sides. Wait, otherwise I will break it. If you will use new stickers, you will never uh, press on your file and as a result, you always will, will work quicker. Easy French. If you still don't like French, means that you just don't know how to make it. <laughs> Once you did it, and you, you will see that how it's easy, and it's really very easy. You should probably start just, making it on myself. <laughs> just proper implements and proper products, and proper knowledge, and everything all together, together it's magnetic. <laughs> Yeah, honestly to say i really i got a lot of main knowledge from magnetic so that's why i really appreciate this company well me too <clears throat> okay. i took a lot of art classes uh, in different like with different trainers but 90 percent of my knowledge is from magnetic and experience <laughs> yes so it's done so you see that it's very quick and now top gel mm -hmm. you can use mud and also i want to show to you something and you will see the difference 
I will show to you the site that was made using gel and then the side of French that was made with pigment of the gel and you will see the difference straight away. So let's cure. And when this is done, <clears throat> let's remove sticky residue. I will file it with rough file, so then I will work quicker. Why I turning with this side? Because here you see that I stick it, that this side is more going out so that's why it's much easier for me to work with this uh, with this side of the file then the sticker is touching the tip then from the top Yeah, I also I had to make here this little wall as well and this wall is the obligation otherwise you will never ever will have a chance to make beautiful French and we have six minutes <laughs> and we have six minutes okay so then what I will do I just will start applying the super white because for super white we also need just one layer Always clean dust when you are applying gel. This is the most whitest sculpting gel that you can see. And I would say that uh, Nadia still has some because I would say that this gel is a very, very rare gel. If you want to get it, contact Nadia. Before going to uh, like what I will do, I just, yeah, first I just have to wake it up. La, 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 la. Then it will be easy for me to apply. So this gel is amazing, especially if you are competing in gel technique. So if you are competing or going to compete, so then this gel is super cool. So you see that I don't need any uh, liner white underneath. And when I'm making application, yeah, normally if you already apply it to, uh, for the competition, so it means that you know how to use product. So you see that when I mixed it or woke it up in the jar, it's already nicely self-leveling. <laughs> I can like procure it once or uh, the one side and then continue working with second side with another side or I still can continue working. This gel is not moving anywhere. You see how, how white it is? Mm -hmm. And because I already woke it up and I overlapping a bit my elongation again, I already woke it up. So that's why it's easy for me to apply and it has very good level of self leveling. My God, I think it, I, I said it in a very strange way. Very good. That's okay. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's done. That's cure. And now I will show to you the difference. Uh, it's super, super, super white. <laughs> that's really super white gel. This is extremely super white gel. And as I said, that if you are going to compete or you want to make a super cool uh, work for a poster, so then that gel is the best one. Okay. And always remove. And we have three minutes left. Three minutes then, let's, I want to show to you the difference look. If I look at our mm. first French, you see that this part is much brighter than this one. 
because mm -hmm. here I have been using gel and still some thickness of liner gel left when this one I had only pigment mm -hmm. then you will you can see this difference and from outside from underneath it will look like that so this is French that made with liner gel and this French with super white gel mm -hmm. so here you need two products here just one Magda says she needs to buy some. <laughs> Magda. <laughs> okay, Magda, then you can ask uh, Nadia about this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not, it's not, uh, no, I still have to cure it because it needs a bit more time for curing. Yeah, well, I think you can white. finish it and post a picture and I will share yes. it. Yes, yeah, and then I finish it and then I will post it and then actually, mm -hmm. and then you will guess which one what uh, was made with which. <laughs> yes, <laughs> what, which, which, what, which, what, 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 yes. And I'm receiving my order this weekend, so I will get all these new beautiful colors, the ice cream collection or the cream collection, the, the all kind, yes, ice cream and creams, um, gel polish collections, and um, we will talk next week probably about new product, I'm not sure yet. We will see, unless you have some ideas and questions, please ask because those nails that natalia are making are just so gorgeous and so easy to make and we can always help you um with the private lessons with the group lessons with whatever lessons with any advice um uh, magda says thank you so much ladies as always brilliant and very informative thank well, you thank you thank you, thank you for everybody supporting. for watching us thank you Thank you. And okay, then I will finish this one and I will show to you the final result. Perfect. Thank you, Natalia. Being, Thank you. With us today Thank again. you. Thank you. And we will and see you next week. See you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.